Alex and I are trying to uh, learn about some plants that are in our yard and most of these are just hedge you know old scrub scrubby bushes but we found a interesting tree that has grown quite rapidly what type of tree is this Alex? an empress tree or a princess tree what is it? an empress tree empress tree? also it's called what was the scientific name? The, uh, Polonia tomentosa. Polonia. So anyway, we're trying to learn about plants and trees in our yard, and this one has these large, very large leaves. Alex, put your hand up here, just as a comparison. Rather large. And uh, what else did you learn about the tree, Alex? invasive invasive which means that it is grows rapidly and takes over lots of parts lots of your own yeah. lots of the native plants this one's at least 30 feet tall can you make a remedy for sinus like a cold or like a fever or something it had medicinal purposes yeah. didn't it you or uses boil it and like you isn't there some kind of seed? There's little pods. Let's see if we can find some. For some reason, the seed pods are very high up. I've got some pictures of those. I'll show you. But, um... Alex, don't cut on the tree. We haven't decided whether we're going to get rid of it yet or not. But basically, this... For some reason, the pods are all up on that upper tier. Maybe that's a defensive measure the tree has. They're all up. I saw them while looking out the third floor window. But it's kind of nice. The tree is uh, sought after, brought over, uh, apparently in the early 19th century, around 1840. 1840? From China? Uh, yeah, Japan. It said China. Did it? Oh, China, you're right. Yeah. Uh, as a landscaping tree. And these things can grow rather large. Now, let's come put your hand against the trunk of that tree so you can kind of get an idea. <clears throat> well, first, look at my hand. Put your hand against the. <laughs> so that's probably six or eight inches now. This tree's only been here for. A couple of years already and it grew out of control before I could even before I even noticed it so this is why it's considered invasive but the nice thing about this tree is that it provides a lot of shade um, and I think that's uh, one of the things that people were attracted to it uh, by. one of the things that we read was a, a medicinal purpose was one one use was the uh, for sinus infections. Mm -hmm. Apparently, you take the pods, the fruit pods. Don't you like boil them in 250 milliliters of water, and you have to drink three times. It you have to drink it three times daily. Right. For a week, did it say? Right. So apparently. Thrice daily. Well, apparently the tree, the plant has medicinal purposes, but we can't, no, nothing is edible on the tree. Oh, I see some. The sun is right in our eyes. There's some up there. Oh, I see. It's not showing up on the video very well. Oh, yeah. So anyway, Alex and I are just trying to learn about some plants, 
so that when we're out in the woods, we can start to identify better plants a little better. And if you are lost, and um, you could, and you had your uh, little fire starter, and you had like something to boil water, and you, and you got sinus infections, you could make a remedy for it. Yeah. Yeah. So now we know. That might be the last of your worries, though, if you were lost. <laughs> but I, you're right. Knowing the uh, uses of the trees and plants is, and the fruit from the trees. It will bloom. The pods, seed pods will open up. And uh, maybe I can get a shot of those pods. Yes, right now it's summer. There we go. Yeah. What else did we learn, Alex? Well, of course, we're in Tennessee, so if you look, uh, we Googled this this tree, this plant, and most of it is near the like the east. It was east southeast. eastern states. And there was one in like Oregon or something. It was Tennessee, Virginia, North Carolina, and, remember, it was, and there was one. Uh, I Oregon. think uh, Oregon or Washington State. It was, it was Oregon. Oregon. That's right. That's right. So, if you Google this plant, you can see where the different areas are where it's been deemed uh, invasive. Apparently, or it's invasive in all states, but for the most part here, apparently, you can even bulldoze this plant, this tree, and it will grow back unless you just uh, totally destroy it with herbicides. So, while we are enjoying the shade right now because it's probably 90 degrees out here in the heat. This thing uh, will continue to take over native plant life. I think it's 79 or something. Here. No, it's a lot hotter than 79. I got a sweat rolling right now. So. Have you enjoyed learning about this plant? Yes. What are the, yes. We need to go, re, we need to research. Very intriguing. I think, it, I think it's interesting. I just thought it was just like a big leafed hedge tree. I didn't, I didn't know what it was and I couldn't even guess because I. Well, that's what I'm trying to do is get you interested in learning about plants. Uh, they're very, uh, a lot to learn about plants and what we can uh, use them for and ones to be careful of. Thank you for watching this video. What was that? Your German accent? No. I'm just talking. Griffies are from Ireland not from Germany. Okay, Dad, we can do another video on our ancestry. Now, okay. <laughs> can we just close the video? Thanks for watching.